Hello everybody, this is Granny. Have you ever wondered why it's called Point Defiance? In 1836, there was an expedition known as the Wilkes Expedition. The expedition was sent out to explore the Pacific Ocean. Charles Wilkes led his ship into the Straits of Juan de Fuca and down the Puget Sound. In July of 1841, he sailed into a small narrow spot between the mainland and an island. He noted that with defenses on both sides, this spot would be a perfect place to defy the world. And that's why it's called Point Defiance. What we're looking at now is the new Wilson Way. It's going to be an 18 foot wide uh, pedestrian path leading from the park down to Reston Way. The peninsula will also have a park on it and will have a series of steps and slides going down to it. And here's Anthony's home port. Anthony's is famous for their fresh seafood. But back to the history. In 1888, Grover Cleveland signed a bill that allowed Tacoma to annex the uh, Point Defiance, which had uh, previously been a military reservation, and use it as a public park. Since then, it's grown to the 730 acres that it is today. In the next few years, a keeper's cabin was built, gardens were started, and they started a small zoo. In the early days, there were only a few campers and people that used the beach. In 1903, they added a pavilion for the ferryboat passengers. In 1914, they built a pagoda for the streetcar passengers. Over the years, roads and gardens were added. And uh, then in 1930, during the depression, when men were needing jobs, the WPA and the CCC came in and moved and restored Fort Nisqually. There's abundant wildlife living in the park too. But if you see one of these guys, please don't feed him, no matter how sweetly he begs. There's a $500 fine for doing so. Right now we're on the five mile drive, which is a scenic drive that weaves through the park. And here we are at one of the scenic overlooks. You can enjoy the park from your car, stopping at the overlook, or you can uh, take a hike, and there are several trails going through the park. You can see the kind of uh, muddy looking area going through the middle of the bay there. That is the Puyallup River that's dissipating into the, the bay to go out to the ocean. And that up down there is the Tacoma Narrows Bridge. And here's Fort Nisqually that I was talking about. It was built by the Hudson Bay Company in the 1830s. Today it's a, a living museum and it's a great place to go for young and old alike. This is the off-leash dog park. I like it because it's segregated into large dogs and small dogs. My chihuahua loves it. We're nearly out of the park now, but I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll come sometime if you live in the area or if you visit. I'll see you next time. Bye.